Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Coslex. Today, my dogs are gonna ruin this video. Perfect timing, give me one sec. Okay. I'm back guys, welcome to this video. Today, we are going over a canon tutorial. So, I'm gonna teach you guys all the canon combos you guys need to know. And, uh, strictly how to win with it because a lot of people are saying it's a good weapon and I'm gonna show you exactly why it's a good weapon. But if you do enjoy this type of content, hit that like, subscribe, and comment down below what you guys want to see next. Uh, I read a lot of the comments, not all of them, but when a video comes out, I read them for like the first hour or so. So make sure you have those notifications on. But yeah, let, let's get into this. So, it's a cannon. Uh, cannon is a very good weapon right now because it excels at both damage buildup and killing. And I'm going to show you why it does well at both of them. So, for damage buildup, its combo starter is downlight. Downlight just received a small nerf on whiff. It used to be a bit quicker, but it's still very quick. So downlight has a true combo, downlight there, or downlight sare at white. Downlight sare is cool and all, but like it doesn't have that many follow-ups. You see kind of see what I mean? All you can really do is like a GCN light, which is a lot of dodge frames. You can jump and easily get out of it. So I really recommend downlight daring. And that's because it's got two main follow-ups after downlight dare. It's got downlight dare and light, which kind of is hard to hit consistently. You have to make sure you hit the end light really quickly. It just got to practice it a bit. Kind of see what I mean? And you can get to two dodge frames, but the key thing about it is I'm pretty sure once you do a bit more damage it's a bit easier to land kind of see what I mean just that white it's a little it like bounces almost so yeah you just gotta practice it one dodge frame there actually that was only two so if you can get that one dodge frame they can't get out of it unless they dodge and if they use a dodge you can catch it and keep going for example something like side light sare is one dodge frame so if you catch a dodge at the side light, you can really follow up very easily. And if you do like something like side light, say a recovery, that all works. And it's hard to get out of that recovery, right? So down light there, end light is definitely your best bet. You can also do down light there, side light, say, but you're gonna have to read where they're gonna go with the side light. Like for example, let's say they're dodging is to the right. Kind of see what I mean? So after downlight there, end light is the, your most consistent follow up. But if you can catch a dodge, side light is the way to go. Uh, and it catches a lot of dodges. You just kind of need to know which one they're about to use, right? So that's kind of how you build up damage. There's also some other combos. So like let's say you use that end light, you can like do a GC downlight. Let's say they uh, jump up. Not right away. Um, let's say they jump up after that. You can do like a GC down light. Or if they dodge up. Like after you hit the end light. Kind of see what I mean? And then you can kind of keep going. But your best combo for damage buildup is down light there. Uh, there's also other combos. So I said side light there. But you can also go like end light there. I misinputted that. That's like three dodge frames. Uh, you can go like end light GC down light, which is two dodge frames. And then that goes to down light there. Then you get a read. You kind of see what I mean? So there's a lot of these little damage uh, build up strings, but they all come out of any grounded option, really. So like side light has Sare, end light has like GC down light or regular down light. You just kind of have to make sure you get to the ground, right? And side light has Sare. I don't think you can like do a side light there very well. I know you can, I like, think like, I think it's uh, down light there, chase dodge, end light. I think I did this like when like cannon first came out. It works at like white, it, or it works later on. This is just kind of gimmicky. Give me a sec guys. Nah, I thought you could, Never mind. Yeah, there we go. You see what I mean? It's just situational. You don't really need to do that. But then, so you start building up damage with those little strings. 
and then you're wondering, hey, this this no longer works. Like I can side light Sarah and stuff like that. But like, how am I going to kill? So let me show you some of the kill options. So there's downlight Nair, which is ridiculous. This is consistent, works past 140. Kills at like 160, 170 on most maps. Maybe even 150 sometimes. Maybe if you get a bit higher. Uh, oh, if you do a GC downlight, by the way, uh, just Sarah, don't like jump or anything. I'll show you what I mean, because it doesn't pick it up all the way. I am misspacing that pretty hard. Or jump there, I mean. I uh, didn't hit, because he's probably a little bit later in health. Yeah. Just downlight Sarah. And you can downlight Sarah, it just kind of doesn't pick up. Maybe it, like, like white it does, but yeah, if you're going to do a GC, GC. Downlight Sarah. But yeah, so that downlight Sarah kills if you do a GC with it. Because it's not going to hit like this, but if you do like a GC, downlight Nair won't hit. But uh, I guess I won't hit that one time, but like, you kind of see what I mean. Maybe you don't. There we go. Like, it can hit. I would like downlight Sarah if you hit them with the GC, because it's a bit more consistent. Kind of see what I mean? At like mid health is what I'm trying to say. But uh, yeah, late health, downlight Nair all the way. Uh, end light is also a pretty good kill option, even like, like let's say you like, well, Sarah is a kill option, but like let's say you hit them like, off stage, that will kill if I land it. Kind of see what I mean? It just does a lot because off stage it's a lot easier to kill. So something like a 130. Damn it. Damn it. There we go. That killed that like one little combo. Down like there does like 30 damage. So that killed at 160, just off the edge. And that's gonna for sure kill. So yeah. Like yeah, 160. Off stage, right? So like downlight or endlight is a kill option. Sarah is a kill option. Downlight Nair is absolutely insane. That is what you should use the most. And you can't downlight recovery very well. But let's say you get him jumping a lot. I'm gonna land. Let's say that doesn't kill. You can still land like a recovery to kill, especially like off stage with the combos. If you can land that recovery, that's going to kill really early. See? Obviously, we were right next to the edge, but it's not too hard to land that. See what I mean? Like, that didn't kill at orange, but like any other health, that would have killed. So, little combos like that, you should definitely practice. But yeah, killing, downlight and air. Sair and light and then something like a side light Sair can even work Right that's gonna kill Obviously, it's got a lot of frames in between that people can dodge out of but a lot of people won't dodge And you can even do signatures. So something like uh, Sidra and sig has like barely any miss frames on miss so like I'll, I'll show you what I mean by the time the last active frame is there, you can still move. So this, like look at this. I can move and there's still a hitbox, which means this kinda has no recovery frames. Like this move technically has no recovery frames. It's ridiculous. There's no frames where there's no hitbox and they can you can get hit. So use this to kill a lot if you're playing Sidra. And um, let's say they try and go in the center, you can just end, like, if the Baldvar is here, and I use an end sig here, the only thing the Baldvar can do is like a dash down light here, but you can avoid that with a quick little end light. Like, look at the time between the hitboxes. So there's all of this, so like, sure, if he's not really threatened by that, sure, but look. Look at the last hitbox and when the end light comes out. Hitbox, hit. 
There are two hitboxes at once. You see this, right? The SIG hitbox and the end light. That is a lot of coverage. Just saying. The only way he can like avoid this is if he went like diagonally up in there. It's weird. You get you get what I'm saying? So like doing something like this is super easy. And when it comes to cannon winning neutral, like downlight and like side light, they're all like kind of heavy attacks. So they're all kind of slow. Like that's pretty slow. If I miss, I'm gonna get punished. Right? But end light, look how quick this is. It has like no recovery frames, even like a GC one. Like if you're off stage right here and I do like a quick end light, like I can just like react very quickly out of it. Like if I did like that, there's not that many frames between the two is what I'm trying to say. You have barely any time between the two. So like use end light to bait a lot. And if you're playing Sidra, the end sig baits, the horizontal, and then you can end light. It's kind of ridiculous. I can show it to you in the game. And like you can do this with other characters, but end light is used to bait and win neutral. Like you're not actually using end light to like always land attacks. You'll see Sandstorm use this a lot. He'll just throw out end lights left and right because you can't get punished. If they're over there and I'm end lighting, they're going to think, hey, I'm going to go punish that attack when realistically you can't because it's too quick. You have to be at a very specific spot to punish it. Like you have to be really close to it and make sure that they miss the attack. But that's really it. I'll show you what I mean in this little game. He tried to punish it. See that? He, he was kind of falling. Oh, you can also use ground pound to kill, by the way. So if I use it here, there's no way of him punishing me. He was trying. Okay. You got that punish. I went for the downlight, I missed. So the downlight is definitely punishable. He went like all the way, I missed that. I was clean. He tried. Use that to kill. That's a really busted combo. Ah, oh, he's gonna end light. So if you miss space the down light, it's definitely punishable. But really use the end light and end sig on Sidra to bait, but specifically the end light for like other legends. I meant to be an end light. That was a good dodge. You can also use Nair the bait in the air. It's very safe. No! I was trying to hit him into the bomb. I shouldn't have been sig there. I saw the side sig going. I just want to show you guys. So like, that was a bad situation for me to end sig. Dodging diagonally.
fine. Like, he, he can't punish me here. And I'm just trying to bait with the end light. And there is. See what I mean? That almost hit me. He's dead. But yeah, no, you can use end light to bait. You can use near the bait. So if he's up in the air, use near the bait. But if he's horizontal, use end light or end sig, obviously, on Sidra. Guys, thank you for watching this candy tutorial. If you did enjoy, hit that like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you dudes all later. Take care. Peace.